What's up YouTube fam? I'm excited to do this vlog. It was very impromptu. I was just getting ready um, and I have like 10 minutes before I have to leave, but I figured I could vlog this experience of hopefully getting rid of my neckline. So to give you a little bit of a backstory, I've talked about this on Instagram a few times, but if you're new here, you're not aware. I have had these like lines on my neck since I was little. I like came out of the womb with them. They're very common. Um, I like asked a bunch of people on stories if they had them or um, like knew of any recommendations to get rid of them. And it was like this whole conversation. And I feel like I have tried every single thing in the freaking book, like every natural solution. I've tried different skincare. I've tried adjusting my posture. I've tried so many different things and nothing has really helped. In fact, I feel like they have gotten worse because I'm on my phone so much. I'm sitting here at my desk on my computer and like just looking down and even sleeping too. I've been try like I've tried to be more aware of like when I'm laying down that I'm not going like this, but at this point it's a bit of a lost cause. So I don't think anything is really helping and it was time to take matters into my own hands. So today I have an appointment with um, someone who I have been following for so long. Let me pull up her Instagram. Her name's Shauna. Instagram account is The Wrinkle Warrior. So I've been following her for years. Like, honestly, since I've started Sweat and Tell. She's an aesthetic physician assistant and she specializes in Botox, fillers, um, and specifically getting rid of neckline. So she posted this video years ago and I saved it and was like, hopefully one day, if this doesn't go away on its own or I can't find another solution, I'll be able to see her. And so today I'm finally going in, I'm meeting with her and getting a consultation and hopefully doing mini, I think it's called either mini or micro Botox on my necklines to minimize the effects of those fine lines and wrinkles. I don't know exactly how it works on the neck. I've done Botox in my forehead before, um, but this whole process will be new to me. So I'm excited to try it and really hoping that it um, is effective, but I wanted to vlog it because I know a lot of you had actually recommended doing Botox and said that it had worked for you in the past, or you were just curious and said that you had seen other people do it. So I'm gonna vlog it and we'll see what happens. I'm hoping I actually get Botox today. I know we're for sure doing a consultation. So excited. I've been talking with Shauna back and forth. She actually just had a baby on the same day that Jacqueline did too, which is crazy, 8-8. Um, eight, eight. So I'm excited to connect with her and she works out of the Skin Spirit in Newport Beach. So that's where I'm headed. Let's go. Talk so like they got like a bad rap and I was like, what is the bad rap for? Like, what did they do? Like, who did they kill? Why do, does everyone hate them? And honestly, I like her so much. Apparently she does so. Can be, okay. Is this the numbing cream? I will, I'm just gonna clean it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna clean you and then I'll take some pictures. Okay. And then we'll let it marinate for like 20 minutes. Sounds good. We are numbing the neck. I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes. We got another five minutes to go to get maximum numbness. And Shauna is mixing the Botox now. So I'm gonna set the vlog over here. It's by the units, so I do mm. 50 units. Um, usually, my necks are usually 40 to 50. I feel like for you, I want to make sure we have enough to kind of yeah. cover all the areas, and I might do more like in the areas where you have the lines okay. to see if that helps us a little bit okay. more. Um, but my average is usually about 40 to 50. If you're doing somewhere in the 20s, it usually doesn't work. Okay. Just not enough of the product to yeah. kind of get everywhere. Um, and then this could be a silly question. I know you're just talking about how it kind of gets like diluted. So is yeah. that 50 units of Botox the same 
potency as what you would put in my forehead. So it's the same number of units. If yeah. I was gonna do 50 units in your face, it's yeah. the same number of units, but I put more fluid in this so it spreads more. Okay, gotcha. So in your face, I wouldn't use it because I wouldn't want it to spread as much. Where in this, I want it to kind of diffuse, so I'll do it in like yeah. usually one centimeter apart okay. so that then it would kind of get that whole area. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Do you want a squeeze ball? Sure. For some reason, I like I get way less, way less scared with like Botox and just cosmetic stuff than I do if I have to get like my blood drawn. Oh, okay. then I'm not good. I like had I got it drawn like two weeks ago, um, just for some like testing and stuff, and mm -hmm. I'm just oh, it, like makes me queasy. For some people, it's like a, even if things don't bother you, like it can people get like a basal bagel where they get like dizziness. Yeah, and kind of, like a little. I don't look when people do. No. no. You're down, yeah. but like I could. And do sunscreen, of course, I'm assuming you do yeah. sunscreen. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> That's all it feels like. Easy? Yeah. When you did um, Botox for your 11s, did it help your headaches? Migraines? Yeah, yeah, so much. Yeah. Like so much so that, so I get migraines really bad, um, like right before my period. Mm -hmm. And so I honestly was like, maybe I could try to get like a prescription, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like it's, you do it like a neurologist, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, that just seems like a well, lot. And like, let's be real, I like the aesthetic look of it too. <laughs> a, a lot will go to neurologists, have them do some of it, and then they'll come to us and have them like refine it. Okay. So they might do like, cause they, they're not into the aesthetic look. Yeah. So they just kind of do their, like the areas, you mm -hmm. know, they kind of go a little heavier and sometimes that can make it so your brows drop a little. Yeah, and yeah I always help with that. I feel like I just ultimately prefer to, I feel like, go to someone who's like gonna make it like you guys who are mm -hmm. the pros of making it look good. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. see the bumps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God, they look so slick. They look like those candies. Like yes. candy yeah, 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 yeah. It reminds me of like hives for some reason. <laughs> like that's the best yeah. way to describe no, it. Yeah, it really does. So you know how when you get regular Botox, you have a little bumps? Yeah. These ones last a little longer than okay. those. Like again today, Yeah. but by tomorrow they'll be down. Ah, uh, perfect. This is good. Better? Yeah. Okay. I'll show this part first. <laughs> okay. We got bumps on one side. It's giving hives. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. I still like though I still get like hot and like <sighs> we also have I also have buzzy that some people talk it's like a distractor. So some people like hold on to it and it like vibrates uh, and it just takes your mind off of it. So yeah. people who don't love certain things, yeah. I usually give them that. Yeah. It takes you off just a ton. Perfect. I honestly feel like most people are more sensitive on the left than they are on the right, but we'll see. Yeah. So 
So what are your thoughts on Botox being preventative? I, I do believe in preventative Botox. Um, we know that Botox doesn't erase lines. It inhibits muscle movement. Mm -hmm. So if you can reduce movement, so lines that are formed by moving, yeah. so like say frown lines, the levens, if you can get them before they become deep, you're gonna have more of a chance. When people come in and they have lines that are set in and they're deep, it's much harder to get rid of them. Yeah. Botox won't erase them. Um, but the age, like when should people start? Everybody asks. It's kind of, tell people it's when you start to notice them at rest, when mm -hmm. they're not going away throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So like when we're young and you get up and you might have some, yeah. and then they go away, okay. But then when they're starting to stay and they're mm -hmm. not going away, that's the time to definitely start doing it. It doesn't mean you have to do a lot. I mean, on label is 64 units, but it doesn't mean that my younger patients are getting that. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's muscles are different, strength is different, how much, you know, yeah. area, size, all of that. I feel like with my 11s, I noticed them the most uh, during the summer because I'm like squinting and outside, mm -hmm. and then I would notice I'd like go inside and be like, oh my god, what are those? Like, exactly. I have like, wrinkles there. Um, and then that's when I was like, okay, maybe I should get like preventative because I don't really notice them at rest often. Um, but I'm always like, I've always been so curious if you did a, like, I mean, maybe there are studies like this out there, but if. Somebody like consistently got Botox until they were like, let's say 50 or 60. Okay. Would, and then they stopped. Would they have less wrinkles than if they had like not done Botox? 100% I think. Okay. I, yes. Uh, Cause you're preventing that movement, correct. right? For so long, okay. Correct. I started Botox in my 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm 42, so I've been doing Botox on myself personally for probably 15 to 17 years. Yeah. And I feel I had deeper lines on my forehead. Obviously, I haven't been able to do it since I've become a bit pregnant in nursing, but you can tell when patients have done it, right? Mm -hmm. And especially where we live, that sun exposure creates a lot of photo aging mm -hmm. and if we can prevent a little bit of that with the Botox, yeah, like long term. <laughs> How was that? Oh my god, it looks so silly. It was good. <laughs> it does. And some people bump up more than others. Your skin. Yeah, this is what it looks like. The candy buttons. Yes. NECA candy yeah. button paper. <laughs> NEC has all the red bumps on it. Um, Shauna, do you want to walk us through what we did today exactly? Sure. So we, we started with micro Botox. So we took Botox and reconstituted it slightly different and we're injecting it into the skin and it's going to help boost collagen and elastin so it's not affecting the muscle at all. And Joe and I were talking, uh, she's bothered by the lines. They're mm -hmm. a little deeper. She's had them <laughs> since she was younger. Yes. Uh, so we're starting with this although we're probably gonna need some additional treatments. This one is a very safe and effective, uh, and we'll see how much improvement we get. We did how many units? 56. 56, okay, is that normal? I usually am doing somewhere around 40 to 50 in most patients. Okay, okay. sounds good. 56 units, sounds good, and it lasts? About three months, so about okay. the regular time is normal Botox. Okay. Sounds good, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Keep you guys posted on what the results are like, but We'll do a little like two week check in. You think two weeks I'll notice like? Two weeks a little bit. Okay. Four weeks is kind of a better. Two to four weeks is, is okay. out of the gauge. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm so excited. It didn't even hurt at all. It was so easy. Sean is great. Got the little squishy ball. <laughs> It is the day after my micro Botox appointment and the swelling has gone down significantly. You don't really see those bumps anymore. You can see tiny little prick marks if you look closely. Let's see. Yeah, you can see some little pricks, but 
other than that swelling has gone down and it's not red anymore um I wanted to give like a little bit of a breakdown on what we did yesterday and then answer just a few questions that I've been getting on IG so Basically, I went in and Shauna did a consultation first to make sure that the micro Botox would actually be sufficient for my needs. She did a really good job resetting my expectations though. I went in thinking like these lines that I've had for 29 years are going to be like they're going to vanish. And she's like, I wish I could tell you that that's the truth, but they're probably not going to go away um, completely, but we can help reduce the appearance of those fine lines. Um, a lot of the lines are pretty deep, so she said that we can smooth them out and the Botox will definitely make a difference, but it's not going to make them go away completely. So those were good expectations to just set for myself um, to make sure that I wasn't expecting one outcome and then ultimately I still see some of the lines. So we um, went through the consultation and then doing the micro Botox made sense. So what the micro Botox is, is basically a just typical Botox solution that they apply just to the like topmost layer of the skin and not the muscle. So when you're doing Botox in the face, like in your Levens or anywhere else, you're usually applying it in the muscle to prevent like that movement, like right here, for example. But with micro Botox, you're applying it just to the thin, like top layer of the skin and you want it to spread. So that's basically what we did. We did 56 units of Botox in the neck just on the skin within the lines so that it'll spread and create the appearance of a smoother line um, and like eliminate that crepiness of the skin uh, prevent the, the lines from looking so deep so there's like a lot of like different ways that you can use the botox but specifically for my neck we're just trying to smooth it out reduce those lines as much as possible so 56 units I um, had numbing cream on for 20 minutes before and it makes your neck like totally numb so you can barely even feel the pricks. I actually didn't feel most of them. There were a couple towards the end, like a little bit lower towards the back of my neck that I did feel a little bit, um, but it doesn't hurt at all, especially compared to normal Botox like in your forehead. So that um, I know is something that a lot of people were wondering if like it's really painful. It looks way more painful than it is, especially with the video I posted, which I can put right here with the injections. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really hurt at all. And then um, it should kick in within two to four weeks. So I'll be sure to continue updating you on my results. But I'm thinking by like the four week mark, we should have like a pretty good idea on what the effectiveness is of the micro Botox procedure. And then it'll last around three months. So it lasts like basically the same amount of time as your standard Botox. Um, it really depends on how your body metabolizes it. So we'll see how long it lasts. I'm hoping it lasts longer than that, but um, average is around three months. But overall, I'm really, really like happy that I did it and I'm excited to see what the results look like. But I don't think it's going to be like a one fix or I know it's not going to be a one fix all and I am going to start implementing some other um, procedures in there and treatments like PRP, which I've done before and really like uh, maybe some laser treatments and honestly just being as proactive as possible as I age the lines are only going to get deeper or like more wrinkly. So I just want to be as proactive as I can. Um, and then Shauna also suggested investing in a really like high quality medical grade um, neck cream, which I've used some neck, neck creams in the past and I didn't notice like a huge difference. So I'm gonna just use whatever she tells me to. Um, and again, that's not gonna make the necklines like disappear, but I think it's more from a proactive standpoint. So that's the update. I will keep you posted on what this looks like and the results. Like I said, I'm so excited to see what they look like. I want a nice smooth neck. If you guys have any other questions in the comments below and I can have Shauna answer them for you.